is. Okay, now. Now there's a clip for the door. I think I'll put some of this stuff back in here. Get screws, and we'll line them up by size. And uh, there's one. There's one of a different color. I think maybe most. Oh, that is a different. Yeah, that's a different. This was one one that doesn't have a slot in it. These are sheet metal screws with slot head and a hex head. This is just a hex head, but about the same, a little bit longer than those. So probably would have been real. Well, I just. I don't know. I'll figure something. I'll figure it out. There's another one. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably kind of work out. But uh, you know, I didn't go through any trouble to try to keep track of them, other than I saw that they were all kind of the same size. So since this is the only one like that, I'm gonna figure that's this one. I remember it fit in there. Those are all the same length. Yeah, let's see. Yep, I believe that's the one that goes there, I think. Well, I don't know, it's kind of... Let's try one of these. Yeah, those are all the same. Oh, those may be... Now, those are a lot shorter, yeah, so that, none of them would work for that. So, no, that goes in there, yeah. I may have just happened to pick up the right one because I tried one of these other. Yeah, those are too big, so they don't go in there. It may be just one that'll fit. I think so. I'll just try them. That way I'll know. Because I do remember it, you know, was not real tight coming out once, well, all I did, once I broke it loose, it just came right on out. So, I'm going to have to put them back in the box, I guess, because I don't have, let's say, I, if I leave them on there, I'll knock them off and lose them. So, I'll put them back in the box. Now, i got to find me a socket for that. There it is, quarter inch. Okay. Uh. I guess that white dryer with the way this camera is is probably washing things out. I've need to uh, I've just been running everything on automatic cuz you know I move the camera around and, and the conditions change, but with this one I think I better figure out do a lot of testing, you know, play uh, test shots and figure out there we go. Figure out in each situation before I start what, you know, like, of course, they don't have real settings, but that's okay because I don't re. I have kind, I kind of learned. I had a buddy that's a good photographer, and he taught me some things over the years back in the 90s, really. And I don't remember. I, I remember, well, I remember ISO settings, you know, 400 for indoor, 400 to 600, 800. 800, 600, 800 usually gets too grainy to use. 400 is good for indoors if you got some pretty good lights, you know. Anyway, uh, but f stops and all that other stuff I don't remember. So, but they just have like pictures and of you know fluorescent lights and you know junk like that. You know how a lot of these, all these uh, consumer cameras, what whatever what people usually call them, are. So I think I'm gonna go this way now. I got that ready. Um, so yeah, I'll start in the middle. And uh, make sure you're still working. Still recording. It automatically starts a new video once it gets to its limit. So I don't have to mess with it any more than just worry about it. I wish I had a way to monitor the audio, though. I did it, like I said, I did a test before I started, and it worked good. 
I can look up here and see that that's still connected. Well, I guess I could look at the phone. Look at the phone and make sure that it still says that it's... Yeah, and then pull it out and mess it up. It still says that it's... Uh, In order to make sure I don't make the app close, I uh, you can't see no matter where I go. Anyway, I make uh, mic is on, and then I just hit the home button, and it and it's still running in the background. But it's not to where I can, if if you know I've had it happen with my Wi-Fi mics that somehow something I you know, bumped up against something or something and it touched touched uh, and I, I used it on several when I, I did unboxing videos just last night uh, of this stuff and other some other stuff I got and use it for a couple of hours and and it ran it runs down more battery faster than when you're using the, just the Wi-Fi <clears throat> I remember seeing uh, the phone was always warning you on your you know those battery monitoring apps and stuff they say oh why uh, Bluetooth uses a lot of battery turn it off if you don't need it but uh, I usually always let, well, I, when I'm doing videos, I always have them. This is the only one I don't plug in, the one that I'm using for my mic. Because uh, I, I have to have it plugged in to get it, for it to work. Hey, that I just got lucky. That's exactly turned the way I want it. But yeah, I'm going to plug those in. I may want to bend them now. Oh. Huh. Well, I won't bend them yet just until I'm sure everything's going to work. But uh, I just realized, oh, it won't be that bad. It, it may be a little tricky bending that bottom one. But they'll stay in there while I'm working on it. There we go. Now I can tell what's the middle and what's... Yeah, just like that, I, I'll end up kind of... Well, I'll probably do it now. Yeah, you don't want them touching... And that's what these standoffs are for. That's what I'll call them. Uh, start in the middle. Let's see. Kind of a... From where the connectors are, the middle is off. Off. I think there's this one. Yeah, I think this is the one that I'm going to use. Now, I kind of had an idea of how I wanted to do this when I was taking it apart. Maybe not. I was thinking that, oh, I'm putting it on back. I was like, that don't look like it's going to be very easy. I'm not too sure. Yeah, you're trying not to stretch anything too much, is what you're trying to do. Okay. Once you start, you want you want to start good, right? Because if you get it off, then you. Uh, Scared me. Uh. Oops. Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. So you, you straddle one and then when you... Actually, I guess you just push it down. That's all you really have to do. So I was thinking you're going to have to stick it in there and twist it to, you know, so that it would stay. But actually, I think you should put this in there and twist it. Now getting them out, it, it was kind of the same that way. I think putting this in there and twisting it, and then you just, huh. 
because they can't stay like that they need to be opposite of the hole that's what the holes i didn't point that out before but they're slots and then uh we twist it to get them to stay in there there we go but it's not going along with the deal that's what's throwing me off you know it, it kind of looks like it needs to be like that maybe you do need to put them on there and twist them like i was thinking put it on there Okay. Oh, I see. I don't think they twist all the way perpendicular because of the wire. It just can't. Okay, that that first one is on there. Okay. And then it... Well, I don't remember the o'clocks, but I, I gathered it was like that. That seems like a hard way to do it, but I'm going to follow it because I think it's probably a good idea. What did it say? Three and six or something? <coughs> Maybe I didn't gather that. <coughs> Sometimes uh, I can, used to anyway, when I was younger and thought good, I could look at something and see an easier way to do it. And of course, you're not always right, but... Okay, three and nine o'clock. So the first one, six. And uh, three and nine. Divided into quarters. Okay. <coughs> yeah, three and nine, straight across from each other. So uh, let's try this one first. Yeah, I guess that does. See, if you go there, then you've got all you've got it stretched pretty good for fitting the rest of the way. I'm still not quite sure if. Yeah, if you put one in there and twist it all the way to you know the way it would twist. That one acts like it don't want to twist. There we go. Uh, that will not... That's crossways to the coils. It's got to be kind of just twisted a little bit. But I kind of remember that's how it was. There you go. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's actually pretty easy. You get it in there and just twist it a little bit. And uh came out on me. I'm uh, still a little leery about, I thought about putting these in and clamping them down, but I'm still a little leery about, oh, they're on the outside, the crimp sides. Might ought to do that. I think I will because I can see that it's just going to, that side especially, is just going to keep pulling out on me. And now I do know where it needs to be, so. I'll turn this around where it's in the camera. I actually, the, the, where the dry, how tall the driver is, I'd rather be me down here <laughs> to be able to get a comfortable grab on it. Where's my magnifying glass? I'm not sure which way you want to turn it. I think they're original. Yeah, I can see kind of, they call, I never really ever heard it called that until Read last few years, but people like to call the, you know, where you see the marks where something's been for a long time, witness marks. And that's pretty, pretty good way to say it. But I never would have thought of using the word witness mark. I usually call it wear marks. You see the wear marks. I couldn't remember what I used to call it till finally, all of a sudden. But yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and go the way that it was already done. And give it another look with the magnifying glass to see if I did it right. I mean, I have to use the little it part of the. This magnifying glass has a the little part that gets really close. That's actually pretty handy for when you're doing some, you know, working. I have two separate ones that have, you know, one's a close up and one's normal side, about this size. This one had a light, but it quit working years ago. See if that's in there good. I think I, I'm not sure if I want to try to bend them a little more or not. Try one more time. 
No? Well, maybe a little bit. I don't want to, you don't want to break them off, that's for sure. Yeah, they're easy to be in, but I'm just uh, looking at it with a magnifying glass, and then rem and then I can see the basic general area, but I can't see if I'm getting it or what. Yeah, see, they're not they're not tight when you do that. They can still wiggle. But uh, yeah, I don't think it matters. You know, talking about the, which way to bend them, I don't think it matters. But I'm going to just do it that way because that's the way it looks like it was done before. There's not anything not, that I can see on there with the magnifying glass. <laughs> of course, I couldn't see it. Without it. That tells me, you know, it should go one way or the other. The uh, slots on the ceramic are identical on either side. I don't think I got... Oh, I didn't have it. I tried to make sure... That's one reason why I was holding on to it with the pliers and trying to go that way with it. To make sure that it was... To where I was actually getting a hold of them. And it... Because they keep wanting to slip back that way. Wow, it sure is sucking not being able to see... I uh, always had uh, b better than 2020 vision when I was young. I had 2040 or something. I was I'm far sighted, so all I had to do to see something was just back up a little bit. <laughs> if I couldn't see it good, you know, and that it's like I'm getting up really close with this magnifying glass. Sometimes that actually makes it worse. I forget it. It, it there's a certain point now. The way my eyes are now, we're getting closer helps, but then. It just goes completely out of focus, and I don't catch on, you know, in my head. That hey, that's not helping. I wonder if that would work. No, I'm having trouble for some reason with this one, keeping it out this way. It just seems to be an awkward, awkward position or something. The other one was okay. This one doesn't want to end. Or is it? Oh no. I think I might have broke it off. Bend it too far. No, I didn't. I'm telling you, these. I, well, they're not. Anybody that could see good, they're not that small. But to me, they're just so small, they almost aren't there to my eyes, you know. And I have on magnifying glasses. These safety glasses are magnifying glasses, they're 150s. Which is, I usually, I wear 125s on the computer. Yeah, I just haven't been bending it. Well, better to take a little longer than to end up breaking something. That you have, it may not be expensive, it's only $15, but you don't want to wait to order another one. We, we need to wash bad. Oh, man. I do have another pair of vice grips that, I mean not vice grips, uh, well I do have a pointy pair, needle nose pair of vice grips, but I didn't want to put too much pressure on it and break it. I think I might have, I'm having so much trouble with the first one. Okay, I believe I've got it now. Oh yeah. When I put my head down there, it blocks the light. Guess I need to get that light out. But the light was blinding me, much less the camera last time. Oh yeah, it's okay now. When I'm way back, oh, I'm way back here. I can kind of see that it's bent like I wanted. So, uh, oh, those don't, those aren't two a two prong connect. That's not a double connector that, that goes on there. They're separate, so I don't need them. <laughs> They're crooked, and I thought, uh oh, I've got to fix that. But no, you don't. Okay. Now, uh, another drink. This time I brought my. I had coffee in the house last time, and I didn't bring it out. Brought my coffee. Last time I just brought my water, but this time I brought both. 
But I have, let's see, when did I get up? I'm on a crazy schedule lately. I go, I'll go around and around the clock, getting on and off different schedules. But I got up about 9 or 10 o'clock last night. That I haven't been feeling good, and I didn't feel like, well, I, I didn't feel very good. Not as bad as uh, the day before. But I got, I thought, okay, I need to buy some shop. You know, I need to buy some household stuff. I'll do that right quick. Well, I got done, you know, out. Well, I got done at 8 and then came out. So I got done at about 4 or 5 o'clock. Let's see. Oh, that, you turn it first. Okay. This doesn't make good sense. Oh, okay. And that way. No, that way. I think I have been. Yeah. Th you really got to pay attention to which way you want to turn your little keepers. I can see that. They look like they would want to. There we go. There we go. Yeah, then they just snap on. Yeah, once you... You don't want to put it in the wrong place because then the spring itself will just make it want to... Now, I know one thing. When you're doing something like this that's springy, you don't want to... That's good to get it like... That, that gets the, uh, the basic stretch figured out. But you don't want to... Uh, I don't think I should... I'm not sure if I should go like to more towards what would be the middle of that. You won't get in the middle, but <coughs> or if I should just go one, two, three, four. Actually, I think going. I don't think it matters really. Well, I'm going to do this one because it's kind of. I'll skip one. Yeah, I think maybe I'm starting to say I want to go one, two, three, four right in a row, but I don't think that's the way, to, best way to do it. Yeah, because springs fool you when you're trying to line them up. Uh-oh, I think I got it. I don't think I got the angle right. Well, maybe it's so. Right. I guess if there's one that's not right, then I can... I, I can get, They're not that hard to get off. You just have to think about which way to turn it to get it loose. It's not going to be uh, riding around in the back of a truck, so unless it gets moved. So, uh, you know, it's not super critical that... It just looks to me like you should not be so close to uh, uh, <coughs> to the where it, can, where it can come out, come up. But I actually don't think there's a... Well, I kind of remember seeing that it would look that way. I thought, well, those sure do look like they're close to <coughs> where they come out. You know, when when I first saw it, when I first started uh, getting ready to take it apart, I wasn't even going to take it apart or anything until I decided that, well, I just decided to, and then once I did that, I was like, oh, I don't need to buy that whole thing. It's not that hard to get apart and get back together. Taking it apart helped me realize it wasn't going to be hard to get back together. And that one's really burned up looking. Doesn't matter. They're ceramic. They uh, they are made to handle the heat. That one just, I get maybe how they plan it, but that one is the very end landed right there. So, uh, well, let's see. Actually, this time I'm going to do that because there's only two there in there to hit yeah. Okay. yeah that's perfect lined itself up 